I'm standing on the beach in Kapanyan, Thailand. Isn't it beautiful? It's the monsoon season here, and so a little while ago it was raining very hard. So at the moment, it's a bit cloudy and damp. Anyway, it's time to go see my friend Tong, who is the head chef at the Chiba Beach Resort. And he's agreed to teach me and you how to make pad grapao. Now this stir fried dish is popular both with Thai and tourists. So let's go to the restaurant and see if we can find Tan. Well, here he is, hey, the man about. himself, Pong, the head chef at Chiba Beach Resort. Okay, today, cooking Pad Grapao Mu. Yeah, Pad Grapao Mu. And we've got red chili, red, red chili. Got here, it's garlic. Garlic. Onion. I got onion. Green chili. Okay, green chili. Let's see. Okay. Thai basil. Thai kapao. So that's basil. Yeah. Pork. Pork. This one. And we've got some string beans. And then we've got some sauces. Okay, this is uh, dark soy sauce. This is uh, a more liquid form of uh, soy sauce. This is fish oil. And then we've got oyster sauce here. And then in the bowl, we've got kind of a, a, a salt seasoning mix. And it, it's in, contained in this bag. This may or may not be available in the United States. All right, so we'll start the cooking here. Okay, so we'll start with the cooking oil. So we start with the red peppers and the garlic. So I told Tan that I don't want my pad grapao to be too spicy. So one of the things he's done is he's not chopped up the red pepper, but left, he just cut it the long way. And now he added the pork, which is minced pork. Okay, here comes the dark soy sauce. And he gave it a light coating of dark soy sauce and continues to cook the pork and the red chili peppers. Okay, now he's adding the onion. The cut up string beans and green chilies. Okay, he's getting the seasonings ready. adding the oyster sauce. Okay, a pretty good squirt of oyster sauce. Soy sauce. And a much smaller shot of soy sauce. And fish oil. And just a smattering of fish oil. Just a tiny bit of sugar. Okay. And the salty seasoning. And just a little bit of that. And water. And that salty seasoning probably could easily be left out of the dish. Uh, 
last one. Okay, basil. Already. Okay, so we're basically done. Okay, so I'm gonna serve this with white rice, regular white rice. So I'm having pad grapao with pork. In Thai, you would say pad grapao mu. But I'm also wanting a fried egg with it, which is called kai dao. So Tan is preparing the fried egg. So I like my egg pretty cooked and I like the yolk basically cooked. Some people like it runny and I like it a little firmer than that. But he's slapping grease over the top of the egg to cook that yolk. Okay, so the egg is on top of the rice, and I've got my pad grapao mu, or pork pad grapao, and so I'm ready to give it a try. Oh, there it is. My pad grapao mu, kai diao, which is the fried egg on top of the rice, and basically just mix these two together and you have a wonderful meal so let's give it a go all right look at this pad the power move Okay, let's see what this tastes like. I'm just going to transfer my pad grapao over to my rice and egg. And just put it all on the same plate here. I have my pad grapao, I have my rice, and I have my fried egg. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, nice flavor. Wow. Let's try it with some rice and egg. All right. How's that for a bite? Mmm. This is a good breakfast dish, too. But really, you can eat it any time of the day. Morning, noon, night, and even in the middle of the night, especially if you've been out bar hopping. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's common to see Thai people use their spoon instead of their fork to eat the food. They actually use the fork to kind of put the food on the spoon. So it works pretty well. I've got rice, got a little bit of egg, and I've got pad to pow right here. Mmm. So good. This is one of the things that hooked me about Thailand, is the wonderful food. Bon appetit.